This is a big day in money and politics, so forgive me if I digress to what might look like a minor issue. But the story I'm going to bring you speaks volumes about the elites and how they look down on this presidency. This is a story of extreme disrespect. After his election, President Trump asked if a Van Gogh painting, Landscape with Snow, could be display displayed in the White House's living quarters. That painting hangs in the Guggenheim Museum in New York City. The chief curator, Nancy Spector, said no. The Van Gogh was not available, but Ms. Spector offered an alternative. An 18-carat, fully functioning gold toilet. This work of art had been displayed in a public restroom at the Guggenheim, and it had been used by thousands of people. I suppose you could dismiss this as kind of tongue-in-cheek humor, but I don't take it that way. And I don't think most Americans will be amused. It is, in fact, a direct insult to the President and the First Lady. It was a deliberate insult. Ms. Spector is one of the elites, and she detests this President. When he was elected, Spector wrote this. This must be the first day of our revolution to take back our beloved country from hatred, racism, and intolerance. And she railed against climate change denial that puts our planet in peril. Yes, this is a minor incident, but it's very instructive. This is how the New York elites treat this presidency, with contempt. The Kennedys and the Obamas took their pick of paintings, and rightly so, but the Guggenheim offers a toilet. It's not just a slap in the face for the Trumps, it is a slap in the face for the presidency and to the country. If Ms. Spector truly believes in our beloved country, as she puts it, she should apologize and resign. The second hour of violence.